Hi there, I'm Molly, the Happiness Personal Trainer. Thanks for coming to work out with me today. If you're new to fitness, make sure you talk to your doctor before starting any fitness regime. Today's workout is going to require a mat and some light weights. If you don't have weights, you can use something you have around the house, such as cans of soup. Each exercise is going to last one minute. I'm going to demonstrate each one, and then I recommend using a timer app on your phone or your kitchen timer set to one minute to keep you going throughout the exercises. Let's get started. Your warm up is going to be star jumps, prisoner squats, followed by one more minute of star jumps. If you're new to exercise, you can simply tap your leg out to the side to make it less impact. Or if you're more advanced, you can jump up in the air. After one minute of star jumps, you've got prisoner squats next. Hands on the ears, feet wider than hip width. You're going to squat down and then jump up. And I'll just show you from the side. If you're new to fitness though, feel free to do normal squats, putting your hands wherever's comfortable for you. After your one minute of prisoner squats, go back to one minute of star jumps. And with that, you're warmed up and we can get started on the main set. Our first exercise is lunges with a leg lift and you're going to do one minute on each leg. For your lunge, think about dropping that back knee as low as you can, nearly to the ground. Come up and lift that knee up. So lower down, knee up. Lower down, knee up. And then you've got one minute on the other leg. Our next exercise is a tricep extension, and you're going to need these weights for above your head. Keep your elbows close to your ears, hands behind the head, and lift up, don't get your ponytail caught, into straight arms. Make sure you keep those elbows by your ears. After one minute of those, you have speed skater jumps. Now, speed skaters are quite graceful and really take space when they skate. If you're new to exercise, this is the low impact version, but to take it up a notch, I want you to jump back and forth, hopefully close to the edge of your mat. One minute of these. Good. Next we've got one minute of plyometric lunges. So that involves a jump, switching legs. But if that's too advanced, just alternate legs. After one minute of those, we've got a side plank. So coming down to the side, you can either have your arm down on your elbow or up on your wrist and we're holding for one minute. Then you've got a one minute plank. Try to keep the shoulders over the elbows and your bum down. And then we've got one minute on the other side. Imagine a string is keeping your hips up towards the ceiling. Great work. All right, next we've got mountain climbers. So we're gonna stay down on the mat, driving our knees forward. And if you're new to exercise, you can simply step your knee forward. After one minute of your mountain climbers, We've got crunches next. Now you can do whatever crunch you prefer. I'll just show a very basic one. Feet on the ground, knees are bent. Keep your fingers on your earlobes. That'll prevent you from pulling on your neck. 
You're gonna bring your head and shoulders up off the ground, trying to get your shoulder blades up, and you're contracting your muscles on your abs. Remember to keep those elbows wide. After one minute of crunches, we've got leg lifts next, so it's another abdominal exercise on the floor. Start with your legs straight up in the air, and then you're going to lower them down as far as you can without your back coming off the ground, and then lift them up again. So this exercise works your lower abdominals. And you're going to repeat these for one minute. If you're new to exercise, you can probably do about 45 degrees. But if you're more advanced, you might be able to go all the way nearly to the ground and back up again. Choose a level that's suitable for you. And our last exercise is a bit silly, taking you back to school. It's a crab walk. So just go wherever you can for that one minute. Don't let your bum touch the ground. And walk around for one minute. That's your exercise set. If you've got time, you can repeat it for a 30 minute workout or mix and match with some of my other quickie workouts. I'm Molly, the happiness personal trainer. Thanks so much for choosing to work out with me today. I hope to see you again soon.